Hello everyone, my name is Alexis and welcome to day 12 of Create Your Ritual. Today we are making our way to dancer pose. So we're going to begin in tabletop pose and like we've done every single day of Create Your Ritual, stack your hips over your knees, shoulders over your wrists, and we're going to get started right away moving through cat and cow. So deep breath in through the nose, broaden across the chest, and then exhale, scoop the spine up towards the ceiling. Try to isolate the movement through the middle of your back as opposed to really working through your low back or your upper back. We want your whole back, particularly your middle back, moving. Come back to center and step the right foot forward in between your feet and lift up into your low lunge. Arms can be up overhead or at heart center. Let your hips fall forward. Take a deep breath in and exhale, hands down to the mat. Step the right knee back to tabletop and step the left foot forward, coming into your low lunge on the left side. Left knee stacks over left ankle. Let the hips fall forward and inhale the arms up, nice and tall, lifting up out of your hips as high as you can. Exhale the hands down to the mat. Step back into tabletop pose and lower your torso all the way down to the mat. We're going to come into sphinx pose which we've done many times in journaling but today we're just doing sphinx just to do it elbows under shoulders press the heart press the sternum through the shoulders really imagine your collarbones are kind of pulling apart from one another press the hips down into the mat beautiful bring your right arm so it's parallel to the short edge of your mat, reach the left hand behind you, bend the left knee and pull the left foot towards the bum for a nice quad stretch. You can rest your forehead down on the mat or keep your shoulders lifted up, whatever is comfortable. And then we're going to switch sides. So let the left leg go, bend the right knee, reach the right arm back to grab the right foot. Left arm is perpendicular to the shortage of your mat pulling the, the heel of the foot as close to your bum as you possibly can beautiful release both legs give your hips a little wiggle and press yourself back into a wide-legged child's pose take a couple breaths here in and out through the nose allowing your hips to open up feeling that nice stretch in the inner thighs and then from here, on your next inhale, rock the hips forward, lift the feet, come into Hanging Cobra. We've done this a couple times throughout Create Your Ritual. Exhale, press yourself back to Child's Pose. Inhale forward into Hanging Cobra, let the hips sink forward. Exhale back into Child's Pose. Just a couple more, just like that. Inhaling forward into Cobra, opening up the heart and the chest. Exhaling back into your wide-legged child's pose let's do one more inhaling forward exhale back very nice and on this next one you're going to make your way back into downward facing dog bend the knees as much as you need to get the spine nice and straight and then once the spine is straight really press through the heels get a nice stretch along the backs of the legs Maybe walk out your downward dog if that feels good to you today. And then walk your feet to your hands, coming into your forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, press into the calves, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold, and just rock side to side. Tuck your chin into your chest. Let the whole spine relax. And then roll yourself all the way up to standing, inhaling the arms up overhead, exhale, hands to heart center. And we're going to move into dancer. If you fall out of it, that is totally okay. Have fun with it. Laugh at yourself <laughs> and enjoy, enjoy the challenge. Transfer your weight into your right foot and lift the left knee straight up. Flex the left foot and bring the arms out into cactus shape. Take a deep breath in here testing your balance, seeing how you feel today. And then bring that left foot behind you, just like we did in our quad stretch on the mat. Reach your left hand to grab the foot and pull the heel towards your bum. 
Flip the grip so you're holding the big toe side of your foot. Extend the right arm in front of you as a counterbalance and then kick the left foot into the hand as much as you can. We're not coming into a very deep dancer pose, so I don't want you leaning forward. I want you to keep yourself nice and upright and all you're doing is kicking that foot into the hand as much as you can. You're lifting your foot behind you. You're opening up through your chest, maybe getting a little twist and then release, release everything back to the mat. Give yourself a little wiggle and we'll just come and do the same thing on the other side. Doesn't matter if you fell out of it. If you fall out, just come right back into wherever you left off. Transfer weight into your left foot, lift the right knee up, coming into our dancing Shiva pose with our hands and cactus arms on either side of our, our head. Breathe nice and deep, center yourself, find your drishti point to focus on. Having one immovable object to focus on will help your balance as you move through dancer. Bring your right foot behind you, grab the foot with your right hand and pull the foot into the bum. Getting a nice quad stretch, just like we did a moment ago, lying down on our bellies. Flip the grip so your hand is holding the big toe side of your foot. Bring your left hand in front of you to help act as a counterbalance. And then kick that right foot into the right hand. Kick, 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 kick. And again, you're staying mostly upright. Most of the work is happening in your leg, kicking into your hand, almost trying to pull your right arm out of its socket, but don't actually do that. Opening up through your chest, broadening across the collarbones, opening up the hips. Very nice. Let everything come back down. Inhale the arms down around and up overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, make your way back to plank. Lower the knees and then lower the torso all the way down to the mat. Coming into Sphinx pose for our journaling today, but of course, if Sphinx is uncomfortable for you to journal in, just come up to a cross-legged seated position. Wherever you end up, grab your journal. We just moved through a pretty complicated advanced balancing pose. And no matter if you fell out of it or you were able to balance through the whole time, you might've seen me. I was, I was catching myself falling out of poses in the balancing as well. And so for today's journaling, I want you to journal on this idea, this question of how can I offer myself grace today? So often we can be much too hard on ourselves, <laughs> but just like we saw in Dancer, a lot of times part of the journey is just falling out of a pose. It just happens sometimes. And there's no reason to be hard on ourselves. And more often than not, we learn more when we can offer ourselves grace. So for the next couple of minutes, journal on that idea. How can you offer yourself grace today? Begin to finish your thought. 
set your journal aside. And if you are in Sphinx pose, make your way up to a comfortable cross-legged seat. If you want something to prop your hips up for your meditation today, go ahead and grab it. And when you arrive in your meditation seat, go ahead and close your eyes and rest your hands in your lap. We're going to be working with a Sanskrit mantra today for our meditation. The mantra is so hum, which essentially means I am that I am. It's a way to acknowledge that you are as you are and wherever you are, <laughs> that is okay. And to chant this meditation, we're going to do something special with our breath as well. So bring your awareness first to your breath, breathing in and out through your nose like we do in every meditation. Check in with your breath. How does it feel? And then on the inhale, internally chant to yourself, so. On your exhale, internally chant, hum. Breathe in, so. Breathe out, hum. So, hum. So, hum. So, hum. Continue the mantra, just like that, matching it to your breath, whatever the natural cadence of your breath is, for the next couple of minutes. Release the mantra, breathe as naturally as you can. Wiggle your fingers in your lap and begin to feel the room around you. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. 
Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this very quick flow to dancer pose. If you want a more in-depth journey, I've linked some classes below that involve dancer and a little bit more prep. <laughs> if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We have three more days of Create Your Ritual, and I cannot wait to see you there. Until next time, have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.